everyone something different for this week's tag along and I'm a little bit late with uploading I'm sorry for that I'm going to make a little box I've made this months ago and um, I didn't have any time to create something else so I thought I would share this with you I really do like this box um, I will uh, do my blog post tomorrow and then I will leave the link to the or I will put the measurements on um, on my blog so you can read them this goes a little bit too fast but anyway I'm, I'm sharing with you how I made it so um, the few of you who could uh, make a box or make boxes often uh, will understand what I'm doing um, so um, I am uh, I have cut this paper to size and I'm scoring it and uh, then I am able to fold it after I did some cutting. So um, I always uh, draw a little cross on the pieces that I need to cut, uh, otherwise I'm bound to make mistakes. Uh, this is not the paper that I am going to make the box out of. This is just to show you what I did and uh, how the box um, is assembled. This is a box that you can fold totally flat and mail it uh, in an envelope if you like and then when the recipient gets it uh, he or she can open it up and find a little present inside but it will be a present like um, um, a, a coupon or something I don't know how you call that but it's um, a gift a gift card that's the what I was looking for so scoring the the folding lines and then we're done so this is the way it goes I'm just going to show you how I fold the box and uh, then uh, we go over to the stamping so I'm uh, scoring everything and I, I scored everything and then I'm using a bone folder to well, make it uh, quite a nice edge so I can fold it easily and I, I realize that this goes quick but uh, otherwise it will take too long you just can pause uh, pause the video and you can make this box in any size you like so that should be that difficult now you see where I put some um, sticky tape to be able to fold it and then the only thing we have to do is get rid of that sticky tape and fold those sides and glue them down to the other side to the, uh, I'm not gonna explain it you see what I'm doing <laughs> way too difficult to explain for me almost there this was hard to take that sticky tape off as you can see so almost done it's a really nice box to do and it, d it doesn't take that much time and you can see that it is really a box and now I have folded it and you can see that you can put it in an, uh, an envelope and uh, fold it and um, you hold it together with a little belly band kind of idea so now I'm gonna put it aside and start on my real box. I'm showing you some tissue paper you've seen it before that I made with Art Journey stamps and this is the one that um, I'm going to stamp on that paper that you see there. This is just A4 and I'm going to stamp both sides uh, because the outside and the inside have to be uh, equally uh, as pretty so um, um, stamping that beautiful I really like that beautiful tulip and I'm stamping you can see that I'm stamping um, I'm inking my stamp quite well and then stamp uh, a few times uh, so you get really black stamps and some uh, faded ones so I did both sides as you saw and then I did the same as I did in the beginning I just folded this one into a little box struggling with the tape again 
but doesn't it look, I really like this. This is a, a black and white box with a little bit of a color. So, done. Um, I used the leftover uh, to make that belly band, as you can see. Just uh, folding it and uh, gluing that with uh, a stick tape. That's the easiest way to do it and the quickest way. Now, uh, after I put that uh, belly band on, I just stamped a little bit where I think I needed a little bit more interest. So you see that uh, the butterfly stamp isn't, isn't showing there, so I'm just stamping it again uh, to make it a bit more interesting on the front. And then I decided I really needed a focal point on that belly band, so I'm making a drawing a circle and I'm doing two layers, so uh, a large circle and then a little smaller and I really wanted a black border on that one uh, and I should have used black paper but I didn't do that so I'm just inking it up why not? <laughs> it's, it's an easy way to make it black and then just draw it again and then uh, cut it out of the paper And um, then I am uh, inking the edges, as you can see, and then I stamp the script stamp on that white circle. And um, I am using that butterfly, but then a larger version uh, to go on to the circle. And I'm inking the edges of the box as well. Makes it look a bit more pretty. This is a, a design, by the way, that comes out of a magazine, a very old magazine, a Dutch magazine. And uh, I used that uh, particular pattern to make this box. So it's not my folding idea, I'm not that paper crafty, <laughs> if you can call it like that. So inked it up quite well and now cutting the butterfly and then cut everything just a little bit to make it fit and then glue it down using just a regular tacky glue here and you can see I stamped with the script stamp to give it a bit more uh, interest now inking up the butterfly as well and then glue that one down onto the circle. Et voila! Um, oh yeah, attach the, the circle to the belly band and then I'm almost done with it. So I should have used black cardstock or something but I didn't do that so I just inked it up a little bit and then stamped just <laughs> some butterflies to make that circle look interesting from the back as well now this is it and uh, now it just needed a sentiment you can write down anything you like of course so um, I at that point thought I was going to gift it to my sister I think I made this round her uh, birthday uh, but I thought black and white was too black and white, so I'm just using a little bit of uh, uh, spray paint, Dilutions uh, paint spray, just to splatter with um, that ink on the on the on the box, just to give it a bit more interesting color, and that really looked nice, I have to say. That's the easy way. Just use uh, everything you have, and I use spray to do this often. It's really easy. And then just uh, paint that butterfly just a little bit more. And then I use um, uh, some stickers to, uh, well, to uh, uh, 
come on Raya, just some stickers on top of it to uh, <laughs> I don't really don't know it was for my sister so this says my beautiful sister and she is a beautiful sister so I'm just um, outlining everything and then I'm almost done so I hope you like this little quick uh, fun project it's quite easy to do and um, I'll do the blog post tomorrow for the measurements and I'm, maybe there's a link somewhere online and I will uh, post that as well. Thank you for watching everyone.